We continue now at the top of Daf Ayin Zayin Amar Aleph Masecha Shabbos. This is Shabbos Daf 77a. The Gemara just finished with a statement of Rabbi Baravua who said that when it comes to the cup, the Koshal Bracha, the cup that's used for benching, so it has to have a quarter of a Ravias of wine, and then you add three parts water to it, so it gets to become a full Ravias, and that is considered a uh, the, the proper shear for the uh, Koshal Bracha when it comes to benching. So now Rava says we can prove this from our Mishnah. Because our Mishnah said, Tanina said in our Mishnah, Hamotzi Yain Kedemizigas Kos. What's considered a chush of amount of wine that's your chai for carrying that wine on Shabbos? It's enough to pour a cup. Metani Alon, we learned in Abraisa on the Mishnah, Kedemizigas Kos Yafa. What does it mean, Mizigas Hakos? It means the, it means Kos Yafa. It means Kos Shalbrach. Essentially, the cup that's used for benching, the same cup that Rabbi Baravu was talking about. And what does it say at the end of the Mishnah? It says that when it comes to liquids, the shear is a revius. The Rav and Rav follows according to his reasoning. because Rav says Kol al that for wine to be properly diluted, it needs to have again one part wine and three parts water. So Rav is saying, if you do the math, if the amount of a of a drink of a liquid that's considered chashuv is a revius, and we know that the ratio is one part wine, three parts water, so it would come out that a quarter of a revius of wine is considered chashuv. And the Bryce has said that is a kos yafa. That's the kos that's used for kos bracha. So you see exactly what Rabbi Baravua said, that the kos bracha is a revius, and one quarter of that, a rova revius, one quarter of a revius is the amount of wine you have, and the other parts are all water. So Amar Abay Abay responds to Rav and says as follows, Shtei Chuvas Bedover. I have two responses to your argument. Chada number one, it's not because we learned in a Mishnah, this is a Mishnah in Mesechas Nida, V'hamazuk shnei chelkei mayim ve'echad yayin min hayayin hashayruni. The mission over there is talking about the various colors of blood that are considered tame. So it says that one of the ways to, to, to tell the color which is considered tame is take wine, which is poured wine, two parts water, and one part wine from wine that comes from the area of Sharon. So as essentially what the mission is saying is that wine, which comes from this area, is actually one part wine and two parts water, not three parts water. That's his first question. So it goes against the ratio that Rava set up, which was, uh, again, three to one. Vyod, mayim bechad, darfin. And then Abai also has a second argument that's a logical argument, that why would a person be chai for carrying a quarter of a revius of this wine if you haven't added the water yet? If you haven't actually added the water and made it a revius, so then you can't drink it. So why is that considered a problem when you carry it on Shabbos? So the literal translation is, mayim bechad, you have water still in the pitcher, um, it's darfin, and you can join that water to the wine when you haven't added it yet. Why should that, why should that work? So Amr le Rav, Rav says back to Abaya, Hoda kamr shnei chalkei mayim, First of all, your argument that uh, that from this mission in Nida, you see that the ratio is two to one, that you have two parts water, one part wine from this wine that comes from Sharon. So first of all, the wine uh, of Sharon is is uh, unique because it's it's a softer kind of wine, and so the ratio is different. Inami, or you can also say a different uh, distinction. The whole point of that is is we're trying to understand the color of, the color of red, which is considered tame when it comes to the laws of Nida, has nothing to do with drinking it. Avol time, but when it comes to taste, by its way, you would actually need a little more water. You need to have three parts water and one part wine. And then your other argument that the water is still in the pitcher and, it's, and, and it joins together it's in order to make a chashiv, he says that's not a problem either. And when it comes to Shabbos, we need, uh, in order to be chayiv, you need to carry something which is chashiv, which is considered important. And this is considered important because, in theory, you can add water and drink it, so therefore it's a chashiv amount of wine, and therefore you're chayiv if you carry such an amount. So the Gemara continues, Tana, we learned in a brisa. Yavish bekezayis diver Rabbi Nassan. According to Rabbi Nassan, if you have wine that has congealed, then the amount that's considered chashuv that you're chayif for carrying it on Shabbos is a kezayis. Rashi here explains yavish yain karish. Again, you have congealed wine. The kezayis to make kara have a be revius. If it's congealed at a kezayis, it means that as a liquid it was a revius. Uvekarish revius shleim of bein and delav bar meziga. Now, when it comes to congealed, you actually need to have a full revius. As we said, when it was liquid, you, you only need a quarter of a revius because in theory you could just add water and then it's drinkable. But in a situation where you have a congealed wine, you actually have to have the congealed amount that would be a revius of liquid. And therefore, again, it's going to be a kazais. This is Rabbi Nassim's opinion.
Amr of Yosef, so Rav Yosef says, Rav Nasan, Rav Yosef, Rav Yehuda, Amru Davar Echad. Rav Nasan and Rav Yosef, Rav Yehuda actually uh, hold the same thing. Rav Nasan had Amr, Rav Nasan, that's the brisa that we just quoted. Rav Yosef, Rav Yehuda, the Tanya, Rav Yosef, Rav Yehuda, we find in the following brisa. Rav Yehuda, Omer, Rav Yehuda says, Shisha Devarim Mikule Beishamay Mechumer Beisilu. There are six things where Beishamay is lenient and Beisilu is uh, is is machmir, is strict. Dam nevela. One of them is, let's say, you have the blood from a nevela from an animal that died without a proper shechita. Beishamay mitarin or Beisilu mitamin. So you see again, Beishamay is lenient. They say that such blood is considered tar. Uh, Rashi says we're talking specifically about Tomas nevela, and Beisilu says tame. Amr Rav Yosi Rav Yehuda and Rav Yosi Rav Yehuda says on this Af Keshetimu Beis Hillel. Even when Beis Hillel said it was Tame, Lo Timu Ella B'dam Sheyesh Bo Ravias. They only said it was Tame when you have blood, which is a Ravias. Hoel Viyachol Likrosh Velamor Al Kazayis. Since in theory, if that were congeal, it would be a Kazayis. So the point of the Gemara here is that what is Rav Yosi Rav Yehuda saying? He's saying the same thing that we just said by wine. That when you have a Kazayis that's congealed, it's equal to a Ravias. That is liquid. That's essentially the point of the Gemara. Rashi here explains. Rabbi Yehuda Omer Vav Dvar Mikula. He says there are six things that again, Beis Shammai is lenient to Beis Hillel is Machmir. Lav di Kahani Besulo. It doesn't mean that these are the only times where we find such a phenomenon that Beis Shammai is lenient and Beis Hillel is strict. Dakati Tuvika. There are many times like this. Ella Kishinichnasu le Kerem Beyavne Veidu Kalechad Viechad Alosa Shabiyada. When everyone came in to Kerem Beyavne and each Tana testified about the various uh, machlux in which he which he held in his hand the Meseches Edius, which is what was going on in Meseches Edius, Heyed Rabbi Yehuda Alelu. So Rabbi Yehuda had these six examples. So in this example, Beis Shammai Mitar, and again Beis Shammai says Tor Deino Kibosar Latami Benevela Bekezayis. When it comes to the blood of the Nevela, that's not considered like Bosar, so it's not Tami Benevela Bekezayis. And Velo Torus Mashkin Latuma Kal. It's also not considered a Mashke, uh, as we know. There's a Tuma for all Mashkin are considered uh, Tame just as a Dirabon and Tuma. It's not that either, since it's a congealed blood. It's not Mashke, and it's also not considered Bosar. Uh, Rashi then argues with this position. Linear Rashi says to me it appears to hide the Beishami Metar and Mitumas Nevelas Lechudak Amar. When Beishami says starts only from Tumas Nevela, Shelo Yitma Adam it shouldn't be Metame people. Avol Tumakal Yeshbo, but maybe the Tumakal of Tumas Mashkin maybe it is Metame. That's a little besides the point. And then it said Al Kezayis Shehu Shir Nevela Letame Adam. The halach is the shear that you need is a Kezayis. So when we said that this uh, amount of blood which is According to Beis Hillel's Shita, that it is Tame, it needs to have a Revius so that there, so that uh, when it congealed, it would be a Kazais, because that is the Shear, the Shear is a Kazais. That's what it means, because they're both saying the same uh, proportions that when you have a dried or congealed liquid, it goes from a Kazais to, uh, it's Kazais when it's congealed to a Revius when it is a liquid. So this is the argument that is made by Rav Yosef, that Rabbi Nossin and Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yehuda essentially say the same thing when it comes to these proportions between liquids and solids. So Amar Abai, Abai says back to Rav Yosef, Dilma Loi, maybe it's not true. Adkan lo kamar Rabbi Nossin hacha de boy revius. Ela biyayin de kolish. Maybe when does Rabbi Nossin say that it needs to be a revius of liquid? Maybe that's only by wine, which is uh, which is a little more liquidy. Avo bedam de samach, but blood which is thicker in general. So meaning... Even when you have liquid blood, it is closer to being congealed naturally. Kezayis lo bayravius. Maybe if you would have a kezayis congealed, you don't even need it to be a revius when it's liquid. It could even be less than a revius by blood, and uh, it'll turn into a kezayis when it congeals. Inami, or you could say the other way. Adkan lo kamer rabiosi rabiuda hasam de kezayis sagi le bayravius. Maybe rabiosi rabiuda only said that it's enough to have a revius that, that that will turn into a kezayis alabedam the samach only when it comes to blood, which is a little thicker. Avol yayin the kolish, but when it comes to wine again, which is thinner, kezayis havioser meravius. Maybe you need more than a revius to congeal into a kezayis. Maybe you're chayiv even when you take wine less than a kezayis that's congealed. So the point is, a bias point to Rav Yosef is, just because uh, Rabbi Nassim and Rav Yosef, Rav Yudah use the same uh, proportions, you can't say that they necessarily agree because, again, it could be that Rabbi Nassim is talking specifically about wine and he wouldn't apply his logic to blood. And the same the other way. It could be Rav Yosef, Rav Yudah was talking specifically about blood. He wouldn't apply the same proportion when it would come to wine. The Mishnah then said, Chalav Kedei Gemiya, the amount of milk is the amount that can be swallowed. The Gemara now says, Ibailu, they asked the following question, Kedei Gemiya o Kedei Gemiya. Technical question, is the word Gemiya spelled with an Aleph or with an Ayin? Am Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, Hagmiyeni no Ma'atmai Mikadech. So Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak says a, says a proof from the Pasuk. The Pasuk says, Hagmiyeni with an Aleph, so it seems to be with an Aleph. 
So the Gemara now says, they, they ask the following question, and the Gemara on the next Amr, on Dafayin Zayin Amr Beis, is going to get into other grammatical issues similar where we're not sure exactly how something is spelled, and we will see that in the next video.